Hello, this is Richard calling from the local mental health team. I'm just calling to book an appointment for Sam. Have I got to the right number? Yes, I'm her mum. Oh, brilliant. Is now an okay time to talk? Yes. Okay, just before we continue, can I confirm Sam's name, date of birth and your full name for me, please? Yeah, it's Sam Parks, 27th of August 2006, and I'm Claire Parks. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. And I understand that Sam is autistic and has some communication difficulties. It says on the system here that I have to speak for yourself. About booking an appointment, is that right? I've been waiting for this call since we got the letter last week. Oh, well, I'm sorry you've had to wait so long, but uh, before we get started, we just want to check a few things with you, if that's okay. Yes. So we like to get to know our patients and service users. So could you tell me a little bit about Sam, please? Oh, yes. Um, Sam really loves Lego, everything to do with Lego, building, designing, creating, anything Lego. That all sounds very interesting. I heard you say building and designing Lego, is that right? Yes. So are you happy for me to add that onto the system as a reasonable adjustment? Yes, absolutely. Great, great, thanks very much. So I'll, I'll tell the team what you just shared with me and then we'll we'll make sure that they know about that when Sam comes in. So let's just get that booked in for you. Okay. Yeah, so I've shared that with the team, they'll they'll know on the day. I'll meet you in the car park and we'll head straight through to the confidential area. Does that all sound okay? And No, that sounds wonderful, thank you. Brilliant. So what I'll do is I'll send you a confirmation letter as well as a text the day before. Brilliant, thank you. Great, and just to remind you again, my name's Richard, I'll be part of the team and I'll see you on the, on the day. All right. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Brilliant. So if you just follow me, welcome. This is our clinic space here. This is our confidential waiting area, so please do come through, have a seat make yourself comfortable. So I'll go and let Emma know that you've both arrived and she'll be through in just a moment. Thank you. All right, brilliant, thank you. Hi Sam, my name's Emma and I'm the doctor. How are you today? Good, good. Good. I hear you like Lego. I do. You've got something to show me? Mm-hmm. Is this a book all about Lego? Mm-hmm. Wow. What do you like about Lego, Sam? I like lots about Lego. I like that both sit came with a reindeer and penguins are my favourite animals. Is it okay if I have a look for you then? Mm -hmm. Have you got lots of different Lego at home? Yeah. What's your favourite Lego? I've got the Harry Potter castle. Have you got the figures for Harry Potter? Have you got Hermione and Harry? Not all of them. No. Okay. I want to make a spot the difference like that. Like this one? Yeah, but a big one that holds it. Have you got lots of Lego to be able to make a big one? It's like four boxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Sam, is it okay if I just talk to your mum about why we're here today? Mm -hmm. Sam seems really relaxed and comfortable in this space. Is it okay if we do the appointment here? There's no one else around, so I can hear you in the sick room. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Sam, I hear that you're finding falling asleep a bit tricky at the moment. Can you tell me some more about that? I just get, my brain gets really busy when I try to go to sleep. And then even if I get to sleep, I wake up really quickly again. And then I'm just really tired. That sounds really difficult. Is there anything you found that helps at all? Um, I like my lamp. My lamp helps. What sort of lamp have you got? It's a Lego lamp. Is it like a yellow Lego? Yeah. Lego yeah. head. <laughs> and is there anything that you found that makes falling asleep harder? Just, just my brain being busy. Okay. And those busy thoughts in your brain, are you writing them down at all or are they staying just in your head? They, they stay in my head. I think there's lots of things that we could think and talk about to help you fall asleep at night and to stay asleep. Is that day okay? There, that's better. You see, it's the little things that make a big difference. 